All right, guys, it's Copper Cutlass. And as you can see, the big block Chevy is still in the stand. We haven't touched it. And I'm trying to get to it, but we've been busy. So we raced three days over the weekend. We raced Friday, we raced Saturday, and we raced Sunday. All in all, a really good weekend, but it was not without its issues. Friday night was more of a test and tune. It was kind of like a grudge race call out deal and a lot of people weren't doing a whole lot of grudge racing. So we told the starting guy, hey, me and my buddy want to do a grudge race. We're real close together. Cars run 1180s, 1160s and good weather, stuff like that. So the starting line man was like, all right, cool. This I actually get to pair somebody up. So we went out there, we did our thing and I did the best two out of three. And, um, he owes me some money, but we're going to double up or nothing where we actually swap cars since they're so close. We're just going to tell each other how to run the cars and then we're going to pretty much pull up to the starting line, do a Chinese fire drill, change cars, and then go for it. And that's it. He's going to run my car. I'm going to run his car and that'll be fun because that will be the deciding factor on which car is better. Uh, my car will probably be a little bit easier to drive than his because his has got a power glide. It's totally different than mine and how it responds and stuff. So anyway, and we are factoring in red lights. It's not just who gets there first. You you ride light, you lose. So anyway, uh, that was a cool Friday night deal. We camped out. Saturday, I decided to run the index and we had a really good day. We went to the finals, we took home some money, but I also had to come back home from the track. It's a one hour drive there and a one hour drive back. So, and I, and I did a couple things. So all in all, I was gone for three hours. I did not run the second index race. It was a double header. And um, what happened was uh, my fuel pump was overheating. Um, and I was getting really bad lean popping at D cell and I actually blew the header gasket out on the number seven cylinder. I brought my borescope to the track. Nothing's hurt. Everything's good. We put a fresh header gasket in it. We ran it the next day, but we ran into the same problem where the, I was actually getting vapor lock and that's the fuel pumps going out. It's, it's overheating the fuel. You couldn't touch the fuel regulator. It was so damn hot. Um, and I mean, you could touch the inlet side of the fuel, it was cold, and you could, then the outlet side of the fuel pump, it was hot. So, um, and it wasn't ignition because I would cycle the fuel pump to kind of burp it and clear out the vapor in the fuel line, and then it would fire up. But what, what was the dead giveaway that it was a bad fuel pump is the one time on the return road it died, I had the switch on, I shut everything off, and I couldn't hear the fuel pump running. So the fuel pump's on its way out, and it actually, cost us the sportsman race or to be even i i ended up going red in the first round of sportsman and i didn't run the second race because i didn't want to hurt the car i looked at the spark plugs and they were on the leaner side not too lean but i didn't want to smoke the motor out so really we had a great weekend uh i went into the finals in the index class which best racing day of the year for me and i'm happy for that the car ran really good it was running the numbers it was glued between 1169 and 1172 it did not move much it was doing awesome it was doing its thing and then my buddy mike won the number three sportsman race it was also a double header on sunday and then my buddy tim went to the semifinals on sunday so we all had a pretty good weekend overall and I got videos of the entire weekend of everybody running. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to go ahead and drop the videos in. So watch them. They're long, but it's all racing. And then once we fix our fuel problems and I ordered up, I ordered up a whole new fuel system, by the way. We'll talk about that when I do that. So I'll let you guys go. Share, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. It's Copper Cutlass. And... We will see you guys around.
except that car runs a 16. It's actually slower than the Pontiac.
quer.